Hi friends, this coming Sunday, February 13th, 2022, we are going to look at the Beatitudes as they appear in the Gospel of Luke, and we're going to look at them not as theory, but as practice. Now, the Beatitudes, uh, many of you uh, might know them. Uh, some of you even had to memorize them. They're a series of statements that start off Jesus' uh, teachings, uh, there's a section in the Gospel of Luke where Jesus gives uh, a long sermon, uh, the Sermon on the Plain in the Gospel of Luke. Uh, and those teachings begin with a series of statements, blessed are you, blessed are you. And those are the Beatitudes, the statements Jesus makes about who's blessed, who's special, who God is regarding with special favor. And Oftentimes we read those statements, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are those who weep, blessed are those who are persecuted, as statements that describe Jesus' original followers. But what if those are statements not just about other people, but statements about us? It's a premise that was at the basis of a class we had this past fall, um, that class was called the Ninefold Path, uh, a learning lab about the Beatitudes. And in this uh, learning lab, we looked at the Beatitudes as actual uh, instructions that we could practice. And we went out and did a series of uh, specific actions, experiments, based on those teachings. And I really can't wait to share with you some of the experiences that we had. I've done some interviews this week on video with some of the people who participated in the class, and I am really looking forward to sharing those with you on Sunday. And not only did we practice the Beatitudes, but we prayed them with words, but also with hand gestures, with motions. Margaret Gibson is going to lead us this coming Sunday with those uh, Beatitudes prayers, those motions as well. So I look forward to having time with you this Sunday, be it in the sanctuary or on Zoom, as together we not only recite or hear or study the Beatitudes, but we actually consider what it would be like to live them. Because after all, Jesus calls us not just to a set of beliefs or a set of ideas, but to a life, a way to live. We'll take another step in that life together on Sunday. See you soon.